Hey church family. So we just wanted to create a quick tutorial video to show you how to create an Alexio community profile. Now Alexio community is a program that we use here at the adventure just to um, communicate to our church family and keep everybody connected. Um, and now with everything going on and um, the way that our culture is at this particular moment, uh, most of the things that we're doing with our church is virtual and online. So making sure that we have your up-to-date information is super important just so that we can make sure that you're getting the newest and most relevant information from the Adventure Church. So let's create an account. It's super easy. Now, the first thing you want to do is obviously go to the Alexio Community website. Now, the website name is really long and kind of hard to remember. And so the easiest way to find it is to go to our website, theadventure.church. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, all the way to the footer, down here you'll see a link that says Community App Login. If you click that, it will redirect you to the Alexio Community homepage. Once you're there, I would bookmark this page. Uh, just again, because the name is kind of hard to remember, um, I would bookmark it so it's easy for you to get to in the future. But again, if you forget or um, don't have it bookmarked, you can just go to our homepage and find it there at the bottom of that website. Um, so once you're here, you're going to want to just put in your username and password. If you don't have a username or password yet, you can click sign up. Um, and once you do that, you just fill in your information here, just like creating any other account for any other website. Um, click create account and you are all set. And then you would just go to log in, put in your username and password. And here you are. Now your page is gonna probably look a little bit different than mine. Um, it may not have all of the same um, categories on the bar here, uh, but that's not important. This is more just gonna be pertinent to whatever groups, ministries, um, different things that you're involved in um, here at the adventure. The thing that we're gonna focus on today is again, just making sure that your information is correct. So you're going to click on the little bubble in the right hand corner up here that has your initials on it. And it will take you to your profile. This is going to have all of your information. It's going to have your family's information. Um, it will have your date of birth, your phone number, your email, your physical address, um, anything like that. Now it's important to have this as much information in here as you can. Just because again, this is how we're going to be communicating with you. Um, so you can click on edit if you need to fix any of this information. Um, and the reason some of these things are so important is because sometimes we send out specific communications to specific groups of people. So if you have clicked your gender as female, then you would get the communications for say our women's Bible studies or our simulcasts or our women's brunches or um, women's retreat, different things like that that are specific to women. If you click male, you're going to get information that is for say our men's journaling groups or our men's breakfast or man camp um, and different events that are geared towards the men of our church. So the more information you have in here, the more specific communications you'll get. Um, it's also important to make sure that we have a current email because this is how we're sending out all of our communications about different events that we're having and um, right now our live stream and different things like that. Making sure you have an up-to-date phone number is also important. Uh, your physical address is very good to have because this is how we send out any giving statements um, to you at the end of the year. Um, date of birth is important, especially for children. Um, if you are making sure that your kids' information is up to date, um, this will just make sure that we have them in the correct age groups and classes and, and different things that maybe they're involved in. Once you've gone through and made sure all of this information is up to date, you can go ahead and save it and you're all set. So hopefully this is helpful and we just really appreciate you taking the time out to do this and we look forward to talking with you soon. So thank you and God bless.